Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the cutest, most adorable toy ever created, Annabelle. If you like Toy Story, uh, you'll love Annabelle. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of- this cake looks okay. <laughs> I think the eyes look really mesmerizing, but I did have some problems with it. I love Annabelle, so let's get started. <laughs> to create this cake, I'm using a 10 inch dome cake. I decided to use a dome cake because it rounds at the top and that gives me enough height to create her nose and like her cheekbones. I'm using a chocolate cake that I dyed black and you can see all the chocolate morsels I added into the cake. Y'all, this is gonna be yummy. I just placed my cake onto a cake board, added some vanilla buttercream, and then added my next layer of cake. And I'm just going to repeat this process until I have all layers stacked. I'm giving this a very thin crumb coat and then I'm gonna add my Annabelle face shape. Now with a carving knife, I'm just gonna carve away all of the edges so that I can get the proper shape. Pull away the excess and then you get this reveal of Annabelle's face. Doesn't look like her yet, right? I got a lot of work still ahead of me. Now I'm gonna add another crumb coat to the side of the cake and then place it in the fridge for about two hours. And while it was in the fridge, I was watching some Netflix and chilling. I was watching Miss Congeniality with Sandra Bullock. <laughs> that movie is so much funnier than I remember it being. It's like good wholesome fun, like Annabelle. <laughs> Once I finished the movie, I took my cake out of the fridge and I just started to carve it. I wanted to make sure that I got the height of the tip of her nose and her cheeks right because her cheeks are very defined and her nose is very long compared to the Pennywise cake that I created. Once I knew how far her nose would reach out, I started to carve the rest of the cake. First, I carved out where Annabelle's eyes would be and then I started to carve out her mouth. Now in video form, this is probably going to be like two minutes worth of footage that you see, but this was actually a really long process. I took three walks around the block, listening to Chris Stapleton, I can't get enough of that guy. Multiple times I thought I was done carving her face and then I would take a walk around the block, come back and I'd find something else that I wanted to change or enhance. Her cheekbones and her chin are very defined and it, recreating all of these features, especially when you're carving a cake, it was hard. I didn't know that looking ugly would take that much time, but it, it does. <laughs> If Annabelle was real and she saw this video, she would definitely kill me. <laughs> She's probably close by too because the first Annabelle movie was in Pasadena, California. Guess who lives in Pasadena? Now Annabelle's nose is actually so much thinner than I anticipated so instead of using cake, I actually cut off her nose and then replaced it with some cake ball dough. I felt like that would hold up better when I covered her face in fondant. Now once I was happy with this, I gave my cake another crumb coat and then I placed it into the fridge to set. Now I took it out a few more times and just smoothened out the frosting just to make sure that I was happy with the way that I carved the cake. I placed some face colored fondant onto Annabelle. It's like a pale beige, like an ugly pale beige, ugly beige, Annabelle ugly beige. I'm just pushing the fondant into all of her facial features and as well as making sure that I'm covering all of the sides of the cake. I'm just using some fondant tools to make sure that I tuck all of the fondant underneath her face and then cutting away the excess with a paring knife. I'm just using several fondant tools to create all of her facial features. I want to make sure that I get the depth of her eye sockets right, the inside of her mouth, the definition of her exaggerated cheekbones and her chin. I wanted to make sure that I did her justice. I'm adding a very light brown fondant to create her hair. So I placed two pieces of fondant on the side, worked them down the side of the cake and then cut off the excess with a paring knife. I'm using the same color to create her bangs. And if you notice, I already cut in some slits to create some texture for her hair. I created all of those with a paring knife. And after I set it down, I actually took an X-Acto knife and created some more texture. Now, once I was happy with her bangs, I repeated that exact same process with the sides of her hair. Instead of creating straight lines, I was actually trying to make sure that it looked like the way hair would fall if it were in braids. 
and I'm just using some more fondant tools to make it look like it's being tied up. Now I think her bangs were too straight, so I actually lifted up the tips, tucked under a piece of parchment paper, then I just used an X-Acto knife to cut away the edges so that they weren't so uniform. I felt like the sides of her hair still needed a little bit more volume, so I added two more pieces of fondant um, and just gave them the same treatment that I gave the rest of her hair. Now to create her braids, I rolled out some of that light brown fondant into three long ropes. I gave these ropes the exact same texture that I gave the rest of her hair. Just long slits into each of the pieces of rope so that they don't look so flat. Now I'm going to take three of these ropes and just start braiding them together. You can't see it because it's off to the side, look. My computer screen's right there. See it? But I was actually watching people show me how to braid hair on YouTube because I didn't know how to do it. I know how to braid hair now if I have a daughter. I'm gonna be a good dad. I don't want kids though, so I'm gonna be a no dad. Now I'm gonna cut these braids in half because I'm gonna need one for each side of her head. Now this is gonna get the exact same treatment as the rest of her hair, but I'm gonna put it on later for like the reveal. You know, when it's all finished, you're gonna see the braids. Now let's start to paint. I'm adding a little bit of black and orange food coloring to some vodka. This is very diluted. And I'm just gonna paint this onto her hair so that it doesn't look so flat. I'm also adding some vodka to her face so she has that shine that the Annabelle doll has. Now very carefully, very, very, very carefully, I'm adding on some eyebrows and some eyelashes with a paintbrush and some black food coloring made sure that every stroke of my paintbrush was perfect or close to it or okay you know like i was like all right i'll i'm, I'm not gonna redo that there's hardly any do-overs when you're working with black food coloring just look at all the food coloring on my fingertips gosh i'm using some pink and red food coloring to get the rosy in her cheeks and i'm adding some black and orange to add to her hairline now this is actually where I messed up. I placed her hairline too far up. I tried to correct it by painting on a new hairline, but it looked terrible. So I was like, well, maybe I can just lift up the fondant. So very carefully, I lifted up the fondant for her bangs and it worked. I set it back down exactly where her hairline's supposed to be. Just had to fix a little bit on the side to make sure that it looked nice. Yeah, boy. Price is averted. And I took some black luster dust and just darkened the inside of her eyes. And I just blended it out to the rest of her face. And then I added some black luster dust to her mouth. And I felt like the outside of her head still needed some more volume, so I added some more light brown fondant and just gave it the same treatment as the rest of her hair. I screwed up a lot, but I corrected it with fondant. Thanks fondant. And using some red fondant, I gave her her top lip and then I created four teeth and the inside of her mouth with some more fondant as well. Added on her bottom lip and then using some black luster dust, I just made her face dirty. She's a dirty girl. She's under the staircase, she's in the closet, she's in the barn, under the house. Filthy. After I was happy shat, after I was happy shadowing, after I was, oh my god, I can't get this sentence out, you guys. It's like mouth constipation. <laughs> Is there like a verbal laxative I can take right now? After I was happy with the way that I emphasized her different facial features, I added in her fondant eyes. So cool, these took forever. And voila, Annabelle is complete. Let's make her scary. Dun, 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 dun. What kind of song is that? That's not scary music. Digesting all that evil, you guys. Look at that. So much detail. Oh, 
way. Moving light makes this look scarier than just with my normal like studio lighting. It looks so professional, doesn't it? But in actuality, it's just like I'm using my desk light and I'm just like holding it and moving it around her face like this. You see how professional I am, you guys? This is this is what movie magic looks like. I don't know if you know that, but this is movie magic. It looks pretty close to Annabelle. It doesn't look exact, which is why I'm kind of like, meh. If Annabelle does come to like kill me, tell everyone that I said something very profound before I died, okay? Um, just Wikipedia something, okay? <laughs> After I created the Pennywise cake, I felt like I needed to do another character just to make sure that this wasn't a fluke. But it's not a fluke because I did it again and I created the Hulk. Look at that beautiful green man. As happy as I am with this cake, we have to remember that Annabelle is a monster. And there's only one way to stop a monster. And that's bash its head in, right? No, I'm joking. I'm not gonna do that. This is a chocolate cake. You think I'm gonna waste a chocolate cake? I put morsels in this cake. Now I'm curious, did you see Annabelle or Annabelle Creations? And what did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it the best love story you've ever seen? I think so. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can see everything that I create in real time in the community tab. And also be notified when new videos go up. Make sure you check out my other three Halloween videos. I created a two-faced pumpkin named Jack and Sam, a ghost named Jasper, and Pennywise the Dancing Clown. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace!